What's up guys? Today we are making keto breakfast cookies, breakfast biscuits. Basically what they are is like a very lightly sweet, high fiber, high fat, delicious thing that you can eat with coffee basically. So the idea for this was kind of like one of those Belvita biscuits if you've ever had those. These taste better though. All natural, whole ingredients, really good stuff. And the only sweetener used is like a very light amount of stevia. So let's get to it. Ingredients are pretty simple. We're also, for this recipe, we're making it nutless, no nuts. Uh, we're using two types of seeds. So Mega can eat these afterwards. Pumpkin seeds and sunflower seeds, but pretty much in the same ratio. Feel free to substitute like walnuts, almonds, whatever you want. Okay, so we're gonna start with a blender here. This is what I like to use just to really grind everything into a fine flour. You can use a food processor. If you don't have either of those things, what you can do is just like crush up the seeds in a Ziploc bag. Let's start, the majority of this dough is flax meal. I like to use the golden flax meal. It just tastes a million times better in my opinion. But you can also use the normal flax meal. So we're gonna go with one cup of golden flax meal, which is 104 grams. And if you've never worked with flax meal before, it's really good, it's high fiber, it's three grams of fiber per two tablespoons, one net carb per two tablespoons, and it packs in some good fat too, it's four and a half grams of fat per two tablespoons. Okay, so we got our golden flax meal in, that is the base of this flour mixture. We are next going to add our seeds. It's a quarter cup of each of these. I'm using raw seeds here, raw pumpkin seeds, raw sunflower seeds. Really, with these two ingredients, use whatever you want. I think walnuts would go really good. Oh boy. I think walnuts would go He just won't let us re re record videos. Okay guys, we're back. Julius is being a handful. So we got the sunflower seeds in. That's a quarter cup. Now we're gonna hit it with the pumpkin seeds. Same thing, quarter cup. Then we're gonna go two tablespoons of coconut flour and this just helps like absorb a lot of the moisture and bring it into more of a cookie. Now for the flavoring, we're gonna go two teaspoons of cinnamon. That gives it some nice cinnamon flavor. Then we just pop this on and we're gonna pulse it into more of a flour. Give it one more hit. We're pretty good. It doesn't have to be like super fine. It doesn't really matter that much. That's about good. So it's super high fiber, relatively high uh, fat, and you got some good protein in there, low carb. Now we're gonna get the wet ingredients going a little bit here. We have a stick of room temperature butter. That's pretty crucial. You want it room temperature. You also want the eggs to be room temperature or else it'll just like harden the butter once you start mixing it. So we're gonna drop in about 15 drops of stevia into the butter. The 15 drops of stevia doesn't make it sweet at all. It just really enhances all of the flavors of the cookie. One thing I forgot to add to the, the flour is a pinch of pink salt, which is kind of optional, but it also really like pulls out some of the flavors too. And this will all be, as always, linked in the description. There's a blog post for this recipe. This is where we're getting a little fancy. So here we have maple extract and maple cinnamon goes really well together. The maple extract, I love it in this recipe, but if you don't have it, you can use vanilla extract. I would just double the amount if you're gonna go with vanilla. So I'm gonna use a half teaspoon here of maple extract. And this makes these cookies like really nice maple cinnamon flavor. If you don't have the maple extract, go vanilla, double it. But we found these at Walmart. They're imitation maple extract, but do your best guys. But actually Walmart has like a whole collection of extracts. We got like banana, we went crazy. We got banana, maple, coffee, we got them all. Okay, now it's time to beat this butter a little. Now we're gonna add in the eggs, two of them. Mix it again. If it doesn't like fully come together, it's not a huge deal. We're gonna drop in half of the flour mixture here. Put the rest in. So this is what you're left with. It's pretty clumpy, but it's delicious. It smells incredible. Maple cinnamon flavor. I'm gonna get a spatula and just kind of combine this by hand a little bit more. Oh, and we're gonna preheat the oven right now to 350 degrees. That's your batter. Okay. 
So you're gonna want a baking sheet, some parchment paper. You can also use a silicone mat. I prefer parchment paper for this one just because some of the butter drains out of these cookies as they're cooking. And then if you guys don't have a cookie scooper, get yourself one. I was so hesitant to buy this because it seemed unnecessary, but we use it like every day now. Scoop them out, pretty basic. Don't got enough room. Okay, so we got them all. You're going to want to spread these out before you put them in the oven because they will not spread out in the oven. In my opinion, the flatter, the better to a degree. You want them like pretty thin. All right, guys. So I actually had to transfer a couple of these onto another baking sheet. And we're gonna get stylish right now. We're gonna put one of these pumpkin seeds on top of each cookie just for a little design, signature. It'll look cool. Does it look cool? You were making fun of me yesterday when I did this. Well, you didn't like stick it in. It could just come. It came right off. Yeah, I'll stick it in deeper this time. That's what she said. Whoa, you got a knock on the door. Right, well, I was making a great joke too. Hello? Hey, hey we had a dishwasher thing? Yeah. I'll let oh, you know though. Okay, yeah, just let yeah. us know if you need. Thank you. All right, we're back. Hopefully you guys got that joke I made. It was good. So now we're just gonna pop. Well, you gotta get in there pretty deep because last time I just put them on top, didn't work out that well. Okay, now let's talk about the baking time on these. 20 minutes at 350, you're left with like a soft-ish cookie, which is not the best way to make them. We tried both ways. We are soft cookie people ourselves, but we want these to be cooked firmly, crispy. So 25 to 28 minutes is what you want. You want to go like right to the point where you think they're just about to start burning. That's basically where they taste the best. We did a couple tests and that's what we came up with. So 25 to 28, we're going to pop these in. We'll check on them at 25, but last time we left them in for 28. So here we go. You recording? Here they are guys, they have been in for 28, the full 28 minutes. And you see how some of the butter kind of sinks out? That's okay, but they are extremely crispy. Now, if you let them cool off on the baking sheet, some of the butter will kind of like mess with the crispiness and you want these to be crispy. Let's just kind of put these on a cooling rack. If you don't have a cooling rack, just put them on a different sheet of parchment paper, that'll work fine too. Man, the pumpkin seed's still a little wobbly on top. The smell on these is phenomenal. It's almost like you're in Cinnabon, maybe like a healthy version of Cinnabon. I relate everything to Cinnabon in my life. The pumpkin seed really does not want to stay in there. So we're gonna let these cool for a good 20 minutes so we can eat them at their height of their crispiness. We're back guys, it's time for the taste test. Not that I don't know what they taste like, I just made a whole batch of these yesterday for the test batch. So you can see how crispy they are. Pretty crispy. You hear that? It's crisp. Really good, nice and buttery. Just like the perfect consistency you want with a breakfast cookie. Dip this in some coffee, it'll be delicious. And best of all, these are delicious. They're not heavily like um, sugar-free sweetened with like erythritol, different things. It's 15 drops of stevia for this whole batch. So each cookie is like one drop of stevia. A little bit of cinnamon in here, which is good. And a lot of people have questions about getting fiber in a keto diet. This is a good way to do it and it tastes delicious. Super high fiber, breakfast cookies, cinnamon, maple, lightly sweet, all delicious. Give these a try. Mm -hmm. 